Okay, you guys, I got an important, an important video here, and um, this is probably going to ruffle a, a few feathers out here. But you know what? Nobody cared about the feathers they were ruffling on me, so who cares? I saw Pagani's video that he put out today, and um, there's a lot of things I want to address in that. Um... He's starting to get it, although he doesn't really have it yet. Um, the one important thing he did say in here is that um, talking about being addicted to deliverance and uh, you're 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 sitting with Jesus at the right hand, so 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 this should be done already, and let's get this done. Um, it would have been done if they, if those people would have done what they were supposed to do. Um, but here's the truth of the matter. Um, the Holy Spirit brought me back to the Bible so that I could learn about these demons because I knew nothing about them. I was totally ignorant of all of this stuff. I, I, I of course, I heard the term black magic. I, I never knew anybody that practiced black magic, witchcraft, nobody. I, I didn't know any of this stuff. And um, I, I had no idea what was happening to me. And, and so I said, the Holy Spirit made sure that these uh, demon slayers were brought into my awareness because nothing happens by accident. Here's the big mistake that I made was that I actually listened to everything they said and took everything to heart, not, not taking into consideration that these people were in the sleep. So this is, this is why I'm thinking, well, why is this thing still here? What is happening here? Why isn't any person ever, out of all the videos that I've seen, anybody describing uh, any, any being similar to the being that is here? Nobody has described anything similar to this. No one has described their body being deformed. No one has described anything like this. Um, no one has described being around any guru who, who talks to them telepathically. No one has described anything like this. What I was experiencing was totally unique to anything that these demon slayers had ever experienced before. I didn't take that into consideration. And this is why I said David Digger traumatized me in the beginning because I knew nothing about these demons and here he was telling me the Holy Spirit wasn't here and I was demon possessed and everyone was attacking me let me tell you what's really happening here you see I have known all along who Nithyananda was and don't ask me how I knew because I did not know how I knew as I said, I had never been to that Adenum. I had never met him in person. How did I know who he was? So when Sarah Landry came out, she was telling everybody that, that I was just a liar and I was crazy and no one should listen to me because I was saying all the things that I knew for a fact that she was participating in over there. She wanted to come out acting like she was squeaky clean. Well, she wasn't. The one thing that I've seen about Nithyananda over and over and over again, he has studied human behavior. He has studied human behavior. He plays human beings like a fiddle. Because he is not human. And I have known this this whole time. So I have been out here. I have been the only one. And you have seen this play out all over again. I have been the only one out here defending my stance on what the Bible said, the only one, when I know that something is true, I will not budge from it because I stand on truth. So I was the only one out here yelling at Sarah Landry, yelling at that, that tarot demon that Nithyananda did have powers. I had experienced his powers. 
He absolutely has powers. He would talk to me telepathically if I was if I was um, having a problem and I, I couldn't get a solution. He would actually come while I was sleeping and give me the solution. He would talk to me. It wasn't a dream. He was talking to me. When we are sleeping, we are in the higher realms of consciousness. He would come while I was sleeping and he would talk to me and he would give me what I needed to do to fix the problem. There was another night I said some some being had come and taken me. I was sleeping again. Some being had come and taken me uh, and flew me up into, into the depths of space and was showing me everything and showed me how this was all a hologram. I was shown this. This being also showed me how the, um, there's a, there's a, um, I can't think of the name of it now. I haven't looked at Hinduism for so long. There's a pyramid structure that Hindus pray to. I can't think of the name of it now. What this being was, it was, it was actually teaching me. It was giving me a lesson while I was sleeping. Talking to me about space, time, space, continuum. Um, showing me where, where this pyramid thing that Hindus worship is actually located in every human body. And so here's what, what I, and I didn't understand anything that was happening. So every time one of these things happened to me, I would make a video the next day telling the people on my page because then all of a sudden, all of a sudden I started hearing cosmic sounds. Where was all of this coming from? I had never experienced any of these things before and no one was helping me. No one was explaining these things to me. Certainly Nithi Ananda was not explaining these things to me. So I, everything I know I learned on my own or these beings were teaching me. These beings were teaching me. Now I told you all that I had an angel come on my page about six or seven years ago. And she told me that Nithi Ananda was my counterpart and I was going to have to defeat him. Well, if Nithi Ananda is an avatar, and he is an avatar, and uh, that was another thing Sarah Landry came out of. He's no avatar. He's just some crooked human being pretending just to scam everybody. He is an avatar. He is an alien. He came out and told you he was an alien. And I'm going to put that alien video in the description. I want you all to listen to it, especially you, Pagani, because you, have, you are very close here. I want you to listen to what he says here. He talks about the Hindu temples being so high up because they were like Wi-Fi for the spaceships to locate where they had to come from the space realm, the second heaven realm. They were like, the, the, the Hindu temples are so high up because they were like Wi-Fi back thousands of years ago. It hasn't been used in, in new times. So his job here was to start all of this up again. And you brought it up today with the, with the Anunnaki when they came. Here's what happened. You see, when, when we started walking on two feet, when we were cave people, these aliens, these are the, the, the sons of God that wanted to have sex with human beings. And God told them no. God told them no. And they didn't listen. They came and had sex. What these, what these beings did was they upgraded the DNA of the cavemen, which became our beings, who we are now. So Nithi and Anna very openly says, they're back. They're upgrading our DNA again. So this is why the enlightened civilization is happening right now. This is what this is all about. And you're understanding how deep we are in the end times. Nobody really understands just how deep we are. You people really need to wake up. So, he's been saying this for the, the last eight years. That he came back to bring Hinduism back to the way it was thousands of year, years ago. Which is when the sons of God and the Anunnaki were on this planet. This is exactly what he said. This is exactly what's happening. This is exactly what this being is here.
which is why nobody that you're casting demons out of has stated anything even close to what I'm experiencing here. So here is actually what is happening. Before I left Hinduism, I had begun to have spiritual powers. When I started following Muji, Muji said, do not try to open the Kundalini anymore and stop playing with these spiritual powers. And he wouldn't tell me why. Muji still right now will not tell those people that it's because of demons. He won't do it. But he did tell people, don't open the Kundalini and don't play with these powers. So once Muji said that, I stopped everything. Um, the only thing actually that I was able to do was that, of course, I was, I was understanding things that I didn't know how I knew how to understand these things. And people, beings were coming and, and taking me to places in space and showing me things. And doing teachings, full-blown teachings to me while I was sleeping. Nityananda was talking to me in my sleep and it was his voice. It wasn't a dream. I never saw him. There was no picture happening. It was only his voice. He was speaking to me. The way he did the night he came to kill me when he told me, he was. watch how easy this is. I'm just going to tell you to stop breathing and you won't breathe anymore. It was the same exact thing. That is what he has always done. I have never seen him in a dream. It has always been only his voice that I've heard. Now, he said he was an alien. I'm still hearing his sound. I told you that he always sits very upright when he's doing satsang. But this one day, he leaned forward and he called himself a mutant. And he leaned forward. And this is when I was starting to hear cosmic sounds. And he says, well, we'll see if you're, if you're really hearing any sounds. And he sent this sound and I heard it immediately. He was marking me. That's what he did. Because now I understand these other cosmic sounds I heard were other alien beings who were circling around me. So he didn't want any of them to claim me. So he claimed me. Why he claimed me? I have no clue. I have no clue. The man has done nothing but abuse me from day one. Here's the funniest thing. He, he came and one of these times he talked to me telepathically. As I was falling asleep, he said to me, stop pulling away from me or I'm not going to be able to protect you from the demons. Because he knew I was petrified of demons. I was a former Catholic. I was petrified of demons. So what did he say to me? Stop pulling away from me or I'm not going to be able to protect you from the demons. Meanwhile, he was the demon. He was the demon. So, all he ever said was Paramashiva, Paramashiva. And Paramashiva was the word he used for God, Paramashiva. And now, in his alien video, you will hear him say that he is an alien and he chose Hinduism because it was closest to the existential reality. But yet, he dressed up like Shiva, he tells everybody that he's Shiva, and all of this stuff that was happening was to save Hinduism. Um, to me, all it means is to allow people to believe in these demon gods so that their bodies can be inhabited. That's what it means to me. Because he has blurred the lines on what his alien video said he actually came here for, and that he he chose Hinduism, but he wasn't a Hindu. And you will see him quite often talking about that he is a Shaivite. Um, he blurs the line, so I don't know what's happening with him. Um, the only thing I know is deception is key here. I just I just spent an hour looking at his old videos. I'm going to tell you the man is brilliant. He is absolutely brilliant. There's no way he's from this planet. He knows way too much about time, space. I now understand everything that he's ever taught. Uh, where before, when I first heard it, I didn't understand it because I was still in the sleep. I now fully understand it. And he's talking about the dimensions. Um, he, actually, he actually got great backlash from this. Uh, Einstein's theory. He says E does not equal MC squared. And he was actually correct. He was actually correct. 
You see, th th things don't happen in the time realm. Things happen in the space realm. And um, everyone attacked him because they said he was someone who didn't even go to school and uh, he's going to try to destroy Einstein's theory. Well, he's an alien. He knows what he's talking about. He travels between the dimensions. You see, when I was following him, he called, he called himself and others like him interdimensional beings. And uh, he travels between the dimensions. But he is unable to do like Jesus did and go full body. He's not able to do that. He has to go through his astral body. But he is able to teleport things from different dimensions. He is able to do that. And also, which is why he can speak telepathically to me. Which is why I still hear this sound here. And I kept trying to tell people that this sound was here. And everybody was telling me that I was crazy. I was imagining things. Or maybe it was tinnitus. Or I said, I know what tinnitus is. I'm a nurse. And actually, I've had tinnitus. It's not tinnitus. Then all of a sudden, one day, he actually played this sound that I'm hearing in my consciousness. He actually played this sound on his sat song. How the hell did he get a sound that I was hearing up here and play it on his sat song? How the hell did he do that? I know exactly who he is. I know exactly who he is. He is one of the fallen Elohims. He's one of the fallen Elohims. And I know this without a doubt. He can speak about God all he wants, and, and you've actually correctly said it. He still has the ability to stand before God on the left side of God with all the other demons. And the other way that you can understand who he really is is how he degrades Jesus Christ, how all of his followers degrade Jesus Christ. So when he speaks of God, who this Paramashiva is, um, unless it's some general alien, I, I don't know who it is. I don't know who it is. Um, one minute, one minute he's Shiva. One minute he's he's saying he's Paramashiva. The next minute he's saying he's God himself. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know what he is. I know that he is an alien. Um, and actually, that was the understanding that I had when I read the Book of Enoch. Uh, because he said he was an alien, and I said, and 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 the Book of Enoch just talked about the uh, sons of God coming down and sleeping with the women of the earth, and this is exactly this is when I first found out he was having sex with everybody and sending what he called his divya sharita, his spirit self, to all of these people all over the world, and to some saying that we were married to him, okay. Uh, without our permission, without anything. He just took a claim of us, okay? Um, that was how I put it together because it was at that time I was led to the book of Enoch and I read it because I had never even heard of the book of Enoch at that time. I was led to the book of Enoch and I read it. This is when my eyes opened. I said, oh my God, I actually made a video and I said, Nithya Nanda, this is exactly what you're doing. And I got a thumbs up on that. I don't know how I understood all these things. I don't know how I understood all these things. And uh, for you, Pagani, for, for the, uh, the, the comment that you keep making about the Nephilim don't rape people. Well, let me tell you what the rape actually was, okay? Because your, your sarcasm and your, it, it, it just disgusts me. Your sleep just disgusts me. What the rape actually was, was his, was his whoever astral projecting into my house that's who it was that's who it was i didn't know anything about these things i didn't know anything about these things i had to learn as i went here's the other thing that i want to let you all understand and i had said this to people on my page you talked about the creatures but they were actually angelic creatures but they were described as by john as creatures and by daniel as creatures well I had seen a video about the angels and the, and the various shapes that angels had. They're, they're not these beautiful beings that, that humans have created in art. That they would scare us half to death if we ever saw them. And um, I saw a video on that. And, 
And this being was here, was constantly attacking me in the genital area, kept trying to have sex with me. And this is exactly how I was able to overcome the sex hormones, was by fighting this being off. So can you imagine having some interdimensional being touching me in the genital area and just praying, praying like, like I've never prayed before and just shutting down my hormones. Well, this is how I did it, fighting this being off. And what did I do? Uh, I wasn't back to the Bible yet, so I would, I would pray to... I would pray, I, I'm trying to think of the, the exact words that I said. I would pray to Archangel Michael to come and protect me. I would pray to God the Father, then I would pray to Archangel Michael to protect me. And then I would say, for all of, I think I said all of the celestial beings here for my highest good. I ask that you protect this form while I sleep and let nothing hurt me. What happened this one night? I could literally feel this being float down from another dimension. It literally floated down. I could literally, literally feel it. And it actually felt like it was a dog. Like almost like a Rottweiler, like big, huge paws. And what did it do as it floated down? The front paws actually landed on each uh, pelvic bone, each pelvic bone, it was standing guard over my genital area so that nothing would touch my genital area after I prayed. And I also made a video about that and told people with this. And I'm out, and literally when I was making these videos, I, I, I was like begging for people to tell me what was happening because I had no clue what was happening here. And nobody would tell me anything. And, um, th but this, this being that I literally felt it floating down through the dimensions. So it's paws, it's front paws landed on each pelvic bone and it was standing guard over my genital area. So nothing, nothing could hurt me in the genital area any longer. That was, that was another experience that I had. And, um, finally, Finally, I'm going to tell you what has been happening for the past two years. And I have kept this totally to myself because I'm sick and tired of people calling me a demon. You people are so so comatose in your sleep. You have no clue what's going on out here. What is actually happening to me now? Every time I look out into the sky, I look at the clouds. I am literally seeing faces 3D Faces in the clouds. Before all this happened, I would literally, uh, because I would be working at my computer, I would lean back on my desk when I had a minute. I would lean back in my chair and look out at the clouds to see if I can make something out of the clouds. I, I very rarely was able to, able to get a picture. I cannot look at the clouds now without seeing 3D pictures of faces and they are different facial features. Some of them is a, is, a, is a male and a female. One time, I literally saw a snake up there. Another time, um, I did something. I don't know if it was I casted out a big demon or something. I don't remember what it was, but there was a thumb up like this in the, in the clouds. I'm literally seeing beings in the clouds. I'm literally seeing beings in the clouds. I cannot look up in the sky and not see a being's face. And I'm literally meaning eyes, a nose is protruding from the cloud, the mouth. Sometimes I'm seeing beards. Sometimes I'm seeing big hair. Sometimes I'm seeing a female. Sometimes I'm seeing a male. Sometimes I'm seeing animals, um, lions, dogs. I'm seeing all kinds of things up in the clouds and they're 3D. They are 3D. And I don't understand why this is happening. I do not understand why this is happening. The only thing that I, uh, I can um, uh, try to understand at this point is that angel told me that he was my counterpart and I was going to have to defeat him. 
if he is a fallen son of God, a, a fallen Elohim, then I am on the right hand side and I am up that high. Which is why all of you people have been attacking me. Which is why all of you people have been attacking me. Which is why him and all of his people have been attacking me. It, it's starting to make sense to me now. I can I cannot I, I cannot even begin to tell you how isolated I have felt because who do I speak to about these things? None of you people. You talk about being demon slay, slayer experts. I'm listening to you. And then it was finally shown to me today. You listen to these people. And they're all in the sleep. They don't understand what's happening. And the one thing that I want to tell you people. That I said when I was first brought back to the Bible. And you all called me a demon and a witch. What I said to you was. That everything here is God's. And God wanted the East and the West to come together for the understanding. For the understanding of what's happening here. Because Jesus was born on the Eastern Hemisphere to save those people from the occult and mysticism. And I told you that Satan is a liar. This is his kingdom. But he has to have some bit of truth in what he's saying out here. Otherwise, no one would believe him. And Satan knows the truth because he was up there with God. Before all of this was created, Satan absolutely knows. Lucifer absolutely knows the truth. So this is why I said, if you want to know the truth, if you want to know God more than you want your next breath, you will turn over every stone to find out what clue is there. And I was called a witch and a demon. You don't need to look any further than the Bible. Well, you idiots stay in your sleep. You stay in your sleep. And let me make one more comment here. Um, Pagani made the statement that he is uh, pro-Jesus. He's not all about demons. I'm not all about demons either. But I know what the truth is. He doesn't. You better understand that every emotion that you have, every thought that you have in this personhood is in fact a demon. That doesn't negate who Jesus Christ is. As he himself explained, the fallen Elohims go up to heaven in the court of God and, and God will allow them to be spirit of lies, spirit of, of uh, fear, sp to do all this to us. Why? Because we're all being tested. It's everything I've ever said out here. We're all being tested. God wants you to go to him voluntarily. Voluntarily. We're all being tested. And as I also said, this is all hologram. This is why this is called the sleep. The, the, the fact that you believe that you are this body and this person and this individual. This is why it is called the sleep. Even in the Bible, it is called the sleep. This is a dream. This is a dream because we are the spirit aspect. We are the spirit. The spirit is what was created in God's image and likeness. This is why this is our house and why all these demons jump in. Due to sin. Due to sin. And as I said, when you sin, there are consequences and you have to make a decision. Are you going to go closer to God? Or are you going to go closer to the world? And when you have to go through suffering, it causes you to have to make another decision. And then what is your decision? Are you going to go closer to God or closer to the world? This is the path, the narrow path, is that you stay focused on Jesus Christ. It does not negate the fact that none of these emotions or thoughts are yours. Because you are the spirit man observing everything that's happening. That is the truth. That is the truth. Well, Pagani is starting to pick up on the truth. Doesn't mean he has it all yet. As he sat here calling me a false prophet. <laughs> the joke's on him. You guys have a blessed day. 
I will put Nithya Nanda's alien video in the description for anyone who wants to see it. Well, yeah, we actually have a fallen Elohim on this planet. This is how deep we are into the end times. I think you people really, really, really need to stop listening to these sleepers and get your faces in that Bible. And don't come out of it until you wake up. Have a blessed day.